HP. Thinkers are great, but doers change the world. Yeah! Augmented reality has moved out of the lab and into the hands of marketers, educators, and even artists. Is Arnie in the house? Yeah! Once a month, this group right. of AR aficionados gets together to network and learn about the latest development. This is a web-based 3D book. No one had ever made a, an augmented reality cartoon. This is in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. John Swords is the ultimate early adopter. He came to demo his own pair of Adidas sneakers. You actually hold this extremely close and these little diamonds light up, and each one is a different uh, game. The New York meetup group was started by Orion Barr, a designer of augmented reality games. I had a pretty good job at uh, a large corporation and uh, decided to leave at some point and spend some time with the kids. And when I came home, I saw that actually I couldn't find my kids because they were always in front of a screen. So I thought, you know, on one hand it's great because they're learning essential skills for the 21st century, but on the other hand it felt like they're missing a lot in reality. So I thought, what if we actually take some of the things that attract kids to computers and video games and internet and bring it into reality? So imagine I'm a five-year-old, I want to learn how to spell. So let's start with capital letter and start with the first level. I get my first challenge, it's the words with the missing letter. Now usually with video games I would just click on the correct letter, but here I can use the iPhone as a magic lens that pronounces the letters for me. The meetup group is a manifestation of a key theme in the evolution of augmented reality. How open will the applications be? Tish Shoot is working to develop AR Wave Protocol. This tool allows smartphone applications to join a network. That way, users can access data from any application, no matter which browser they're using. It's called Federation. The idea is that you can have an augmented view on your phone that is able to draw on data from anyone who's in this federated network and that they can decide the handshakes of how much data they want to share. The real goal is so that you can set your permissions and your channels and your filters so that you have a unified view that's drawing data from where you want to draw it. However, that level of information sharing raises privacy and fraud issues. That's what motivates Joseph Rampola, who moonlights after his day job as a police officer in northern New Jersey. My part-time job is a cybercrime detective for a larger computer crime task force. Rampola has been tracking the development of augmented reality over the last few years. I knew that law enforcement had to come in on the ground floor as this technology is being formed, as these innovators are doing amazing things. One area that Rampola is keeping a close eye on is how augmented reality will work when coupled with facial recognition technology. In the first generation of augmented reality, um, you know, people will be able to choose what information they want to be live and active, but as the future generations of this technology emerge, they'll be on closed networks without their permission. It raises a lot of privacy issues, um, a lot of legal issues. Imbar says AR developers get it. It's up to the um, developer's responsibility to consider all these potential pitfalls, potential uh, dangers, if you will, and, and reflect it in, in their design, you know, make sure it's, it's clever, it's safe, it's, uh, it's taking into consideration all those, those aspects. The need for caution is one reason Inbar believes the meetups can play a key role in the rise of AR, harnessing the minds of developers all over the world. It really feels like a, almost like a movement of people that are extremely passionate about this, and are seeing that this is this, their dreams are actually becoming true these days. So what's the next step for augmented reality? We're going to see see-through, head-worn displays that feel right, that weigh right, that look right, that cost right. You'll be hand-free, so it'll allow you to interact with anything uh, around you, and it will cover your entire field of view, which means that the experience is going to be much more immersive and much more entertaining, we hope, than what it is today. That hybrid mashup of all these different technologies that's going to change fundamentally the way we interact with computers, technology, each other. I think it's going to change every single aspect of our life. Every interaction that we have 
on a daily basis is going to look totally different with augmented reality. In a few short years, these innovators say, you'll be walking around in a world overlaid with information customized just for you. No longer tied to your computer, it will wallpaper everything around you, ready for you to use anytime, anywhere, anyhow. For better or worse, augmented reality will simply be reality. I'm Tabitha Soren. Thanks for watching.